Watch, watch, you see Zero now watching, right? Yep, yep. Okay, so you'll see people are gonna jump in in a minute. Uh, and I'm gonna give them a little in, uh, introduction, explain to them where we are and who you are, and, and then we'll, uh, and I'll ask you a few questions. There we go, one, one now watching. Let's see Ayer Kobaiko. Here's, uh, we got uh, people from all around the world coming in. Okay, so um, we're here at Jeremy Barabi. Uh, Jeremy Barabi is a very active angel investor, um, and I understand that he's now moving on to something more interesting. I don't know exactly what that is, but anyway, uh, Jeremy Barabi is a very, very active angel investor from Kima Ventures, and uh, look, these people are all watching from around the world. And I am uh, privileged to be standing here with somebody, I hope you don't mind me saying, I view as a really, really a legend. Uh, no, he, okay. he's modest, but I mean, he invented the thumb drive. I mean. That doesn't get much more legendary than that. I mean, I, I don't mean to embarrass you, but he's he's uh, you know an investor now and an entrepreneur in his DNA, right? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Okay, a creator. And um, I just came here for this bar mitzvah, not knowing that Dove would be here, but now I'm very happy that I did. It was quite a long ride, but I was like, oh, should I go? Should I not go? I'm very happy I came. Uh, and so I'm just going to ask him a few questions. But if you have any questions for, love the tie. Thank you. This is me, my tie. Uh, thank you very much. Hi, hi there, Melanie from Canada. Um, Fifteen people watching. So, um, Dove. Give me kind of like a few sentences about your background. Uh, I'm a dreamer, I'm an engineer, I'm a father to amazing four kids, I'm a uh, you know, M Systems, Modu, Covigo, many remember, companies. If you remember Modu, Modu was the modular phone. Modular phones, uh, that, smallest in the world. Yeah. That, I think it was, it was ahead of its time, that's what I think was the problem there. And actually, as you know, Google bought the patents and uh, they are uh, now uh, coming, out, coming with the Project R. Which right. is based actually on the model patterns. Right. So uh, you, I don't know if that was that's a scoop right there. I think is that is that no, something no, it's that's public? It's, it's public. Yes. Okay. So Project Hour is based on Modu patents. I didn't know that. That's really interesting. Um, someone said uh, someone said I like your tie better. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Ears said he agrees with me on the legend thing. Well, there's nothing to agree. Dove's a legend. Anyway, okay, so continue. Four kids and um, a builder, an engineer, Modu, uh, M Systems. What else? Uh, what other companies? Oh, many. Uh, shall I really list all of them? Well, there are, I mean, like, what are they, like, tens? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, 15. 15, uh, 15 now. 15 companies that you're involved yes. in now. What does yes. that mean? You're, you're a chairman, you're an investor, you're. I'm an investor, I'm a chairman, I'm involved, I'm uh, mentoring the people, I'm uh, trying to help, I'm. Uh, Working very hard. You don't get tired of it. It's amazing. It's exciting. It's a, you know, it's it's a. I, I bring, I create value. Right. And I, my, my way of living is I, I want to create value. Amazing, unbelievable. I mean, Dove, you know, has, has done so much in his life. I, I think it would be justified if he just took a rest, but he's not resting. He's continuing to build and, and build amazing things. So that's really interesting. What are you seeing that's that really that kind of most gets you excited? Maybe some of the companies that you're working with or just trends? What's most exciting to you now? I must tell you that if, uh, if you do what I do, then every week you're excited of something else. You know, right. you know it's, right. I get to see a lot of people, right. many ideas, uh, very interesting uh, guys with uh, concepts, with technologies. And uh, you know, it's amazing stories. It's uh, Things which really uh, make life better, make people healthier. These are things which I, I love to see. You work in health, health a lot in the medical. Digital space? health is very very. Yeah, I like the digital health. It's uh, it's not just doing something good right. by you know excitement or storage. Or it's uh, really make people feel better right. or feel or live longer. As a person who's always been uh, looking at the future, what do you think about autonomous autonomous cars, self-driving cars? What do you what do you think? Is it going to happen? Uh, <laughs> uh, clearly, all the issue of uh, car of uh, driving is going to change significantly. So, we are, you know, uh, 10, 15 years from now, people will be amazed of how could you drive with those, you know, stupid machines, you know, wheels, and they have to do this, you know. <laughs> but I mean, do you think it's how how soon do you think it'll become mainstream? Well, it's going to be longer. It will take longer than than it, what each one of us believe. But when mm. it happens, it will happen, and very fast. Very fast. Okay, so there's autonomous vehicles. What else do you think is kind of like the next unbelievable change that we're going to have and revolution in our world? Uh, I think that a lot of uh, sensors in the body, outside the body. Uh, wearable, wearable computing. No, it's not wearable. It's sensors in the body. Inside your body, yeah, like implanted. Of course, uh, implanted. Uh, a stick. Uh, variety of things. I think that uh, the whole world of uh, uh, of health is going to change as well significantly right. in the coming years. Uh, a lot of interesting stuff. DNA is going to be, of course, very, very crucial. I, I'm involved in a few companies that are doing things that relate to DNA. Thumb drive to start cars, someone asked. Uh, what comes after the thumb drive? What comes after the thumb drive? 
Sometimes it's dead already. There is email. There is uh, uh, all cloud. Of things to Everything's in the cloud, cloud now. Cloud, cloud, everything in the cloud. Everything is cloud. Yes. Okay, so in terms of your investments, what kind of investments are you looking for? Like, what do you what do you invest in nowadays? Uh, What's your I, sweet I spot? We had, a, we had a meeting yesterday, me and my partners, regarding what are the areas that we should uh, really focus on. And, and the, the, the conclusion was that we are going to invest in things that in, in people and in creating value. Uh, really, anything which is, and of course in technology, because I do understand technology, I don't understand the uh, art or I don't software, understand... Software, hardware, doesn't matter, it's not value. I like the combination of software, hardware, right. but I do, we do invest in software companies, few software companies as well. Only in Israel? Uh, only in Israel. Only, only, in Israel. only where I can influence, only where I can be involved. Uh, in many cases, it's companies that we take into our facility, so we get to see the, the, the founders every day. How active are you? You really see them every day? Every day. Unbelievable. Sometimes Most it's, hey, how are you? <laughs> really? Is that really true? And sometimes it's, uh, you know, let's say, uh, let's say, uh, you know, the message is not Amazing. the right message. We have to really sit on and understand the message. And you're, you're not, you're not looking to slow down. You just want to keep going. I'll, I'll die there. Come on. <laughs> wow. It's amazing, huh? It's very inspi inspiring. It took you for me. many, many years to die there, but uh, my yeah. father died when he was 90 years old. When he died, uh, it was after the, he went to the hospital for checks for testing, mm -hmm. and the, the physician who made his tests came to tell him that he's okay, he can go Sunday back to work. Wow. And uh, he worked at Sunday, so yes. He was 90 years old. Wow. And, and, uh, and then he died. Wait, so Sandus acquired them systems, right? Yeah. So your dad acquired you? They acquired me, <laughs> 1.6 billion dollar. Wow, very nice. Um, so, and, and just like on a, on a daily, give me, like describe your day to me. I mean, you wake up in the morning and you go from company to company that you're invested in, like what do you? I, I get to see many co new companies. I, I'm going to my, see my companies. Uh, Amazing. You know, and, uh, and what do you do for fun? Uh, and then at three o'clock I go to sleep in the morning. Wake up again at seven o'clock. When in do you the go morning. to sleep? Three o'clock, four o'clock. Every day? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. I can't be healthy. I'm fine. With this. And you wake up at seven o'clock. So you sleep for three hours. Eight four hours. Four hours a night. Sometimes I take, I take a seven hours night. And if Shabbat, Shabbat, I sleep a lot. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. What do you do for fun? Uh, I talk with people, I talk with amazing people, I talk with so No, 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 I do play bridge every day, half a day, half an hour, uh, on the internet, competing against, you know, 600 people in the world. I lose most of the time, but sometimes <laughs> I win, and when you win, you think, hey, I'm so great, I'm so smart. I don't even so, I don't know how to play bridge, I don't know if I should admit that publicly. It's amazing game, amazing game, it's amazing game. Yeah. I don't even know how to play chess. It's really, it's really uh, memory, strategic. Uh, strategic. Yeah. Um, to learn statistics, learn. by the way, yes. To learn. Uh, making calculations to so take your decisions. Amazing. And if you play bridge well, probably you are a good, uh, good entrepreneur as well. They're doing that with Troy. Okay, someone said here, let's just read the comments here. Someone said, wow, inspiring mindset. Kolakavod, okay. Uh, such a cool dude. Well, Computers solely are doing what with that with Droid in Africa. I'm not sure what he's referring to. Um, powered by thumb drives would be great. Oh, computers with th powered by thumb drives, and then they said someone in Africa. That's what they're doing. How did you? How did? Tell me the story. How did you come up with the thumb drive? That's I'm really curious about. Oh, really? It's a it's a long story. I went to a show in New York, a convention in New York. I was supposed to speak front uh, front of uh, 200 people, and my computer didn't go up. So, and I was sweating. You know, I was so embarrassed. You know that you know, I was the CEO of your family company, and you can't really talk about your company right, without no slides, slides and numbers, yeah. which has to be very very accurate. Right. So anyway, finally it worked, but I, I said I never come in my life to a presentation without having my presentation in my pocket. Right. And then how, how can you do it? And, and the next, you know, the next thing is it's USB flash drives. So it's not a great story. It's, uh, it's, yeah, you, have you just went and you built it. You have to look at problems and you have to understand that... We're, we're meerkatting. This is live right now. Say hello. Live on the internet. Hey guys. This is the uh, CEO? CEO of Powtoon. Powtoons, the next generation PowerPoint. You know, my Twitter followers are, see that I already got your pitch down. You know that we meet Good for two seconds. You, look at, you can hire me from, I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, so we're just, he's just telling me the story, his background and what he's, uh, you, you're not familiar with Meerkat? I am familiar with oh, This is Meerkat. Yeah. We're Meerkatting. Hi, yo, Meerkatting. Okay, hello, Jeremy. hello. Jeremy hello. Barabee, the legendary, the man himself. Hi. Jeremy Bar uh, so I'm here for his kids' bar mitzvah. And Thank Shlomo, you. Oh, well, Shlomo, I interviewed him last week, Shlomo Kalish. Hi. You guys, I hope you didn't miss that interview. If you missed that interview, it's on my Facebook. Go check it out. But I'm like in the in the midst of legends here, guys. Look at this. This is like unbelievable. I'm so happy I came now. <laughs> Go to me, fam. Anyway, um, so I'm so he's he was just telling me uh, how he came up with the idea for a thumb drive, and he said that he, uh, you know, he forgot his his. Um, 
English is better. His computer wouldn't turn on, and so he just said, I gotta get it in my pocket. How did you even think about the idea of having a USB in your pocket? Because now it's, you know, so obvious to us, but then nobody did it before you, right? No, it's the beginning. Then it was a big, uh, a big battle of making it stand out, uh, having the people to get to use it. How big was the first one? Uh, eight megabytes. No, how big? Physically, eight. how big? Just this size. Oh, it was already that size? Eight now, now they're up to like terabytes already. Terabytes. Yeah. One terabyte, I guess. That's a much Unbelievable. All right, guys, I'm going to let him go because I feel bad. I'm taking up his whole evening. This was fun. And uh, I was, I'm fortunate enough to have shown him his first Meerkat experience. That's going to forever. I showed Doberman his first Meerkat experience. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in.